Okay, so with the same, using the same data set, uh, it's from Kegel, there's a link, it should be at the bottom of the page. Eventually, this tool will be available for you to play with. You can select your EG ID and select the channel. We have a standard, it's supposed to be a standard EEG montage with one ECG channel. It's most of the time quite noisy. Yeah, not a great ECG. Is it? Yeah, I could expect, expect when the ECG looks like that, then the, there might be something wrong with the data as well. Yeah, looks like baseline EEG, but uh, yeah, it was labeled as AVA. There's only one uh, a 50 second segment. Yeah, ECG is actually missing. EEG is not great. And this was actually labeled as a clinical, what's called general. Eh, no, no. It's a lot of rubbish. There's DC shifts. I don't know what it is. So the patient, the patient ID is being updated correctly. We did double check. Electrode list is being auto populated, so that's okay. Default is loading the 604 that looks like a seizure. The only problem with it is there's a similar kind of pattern on the ECG electrode, which is highly unusual. And yes, uh, so a couple ways to continue from here. Uh, there is the spectrogram data that was provided in this uh, data set. We might generate our own as well, because I don't think they correlate. There's some, uh, some weird thing there. Let's open the train CSV again. Have a good look at it. Does it fit the screen? Yeah, just. So we have all these other labels. And with the actual label. So the idea is when you select the by default, when you load the page, uh, there is a EEG ID being pre-selected. You can select a different one, it will show you the whole thing. When you select the sub ID, it will show you just the 50 seconds of that sub ID. Default it will be sub ID 00. Because some, uh, some of those EEG IDs don't have extra sub IDs. You'll have a default electrode selected. It will display the patient ID as well. So the, yeah, this consensus, let's assume there is some sort of logic to the order in the original file, which is have one form. So we have a EG ID, sub ID, spectrum sub ID. Okay, let's pop this in and just uh, display it in there. We just go JavaScript update based on previous response yeah so this is the column we have in the train csv file we have 19 is that correct yeah 15 right we also have the chart doesn't want to update the javascript why not yeah i don't have the ability to recall previous responses that's great isn't it so we want to show as Spectrogram in there. Yes, a chat container. Yeah, I want to do spectrogram chat as well. Yeah, I wish there was some sort of just upload onto GPT-4 button. A uh, copilot kind of gave up. I think it will be too hard for it anyway. We have a HTML file that you can see, but it's still missing. Uh, well, it's not working at the moment, and it's missing two charts. We have a JavaScript, uh, Python code. We have this data utilities, uh, so Python utilities and the structure of the data. It's very important. Um, I just updated the HTML to include all the columns from the train CSV file. I do need to update the JavaScript and the backend and check that the backend code working correctly as well can you update uh, generate regenerate the javascript code yeah why is it being lazy 
Yeah, it's as if it can't handle that much code or something. Yeah, we have new fields. I generating um, a prompt for GitHub Copilot, are you? You won't be you won't be generating the code, would you? And we need the workspace handle so it can actually look at other files. Yeah, it did look at the correct section of the HTML. So we changed the HTML to add this. Is it playing now? Nice. Is it gonna generate the whole code? Do you know placeholders? No, they are placeholders. <laughs> you just can't help it. <laughs> yeah, we did need to refract the whole code anyway, so essentially starting from scratch. Still doing this. So you have update chart and then you have fetch and update chart. The names don't make any sense. So we have the is it dealing with the spectrogram? And no. It's really broken. Okay, should we go by the errors? Let's clear that. Yeah, no errors. No, obviously, it would be in the JavaScript. Yeah, it's script.js line 39. Electro should have been there. Okay, that obviously was too ambitious. Let's go uh, back to the HTML that we had before. Wait, wait. We will add this uh, spectrogram. Let's go okay. so back to the working uh, version. Let's test this quickly. Should give a different. Yeah, this is not an input. Yeah, the original idea was to being able to filter based on the label. It's not working at the moment. I mean, these things can be both uh, inputs and outputs. So. Yeah, the original thing when you uh, do this you should have selected the whole thing. So in this case, 102 seconds. When you select that, it will uh, zoom in on 50 seconds of that specific label. That doesn't work. When uh, loading an EEG ID, we are displaying the whole data in it. When selecting a specific EEG sub ID, we want to display just the 50 seconds a uh, window. Can you do this for us? A uh, fetch, oops, think function, log fetching, that and updating chart. So we know that's happening, so we can get rid of that log. Uh, let's format to ensure that only 50 seconds of data are fetched and displayed when the specific EG sub ID is selected. Okay, this looks too good to be true so might as well it promises us to actually do the do what we want might as well just uh, use the whole code okay this one displaying the 200 and this one doesn't work do we get any errors no yes that one is hard coded it the sub id when selected it's doing something once but then it's not doing it again you have the code why are you misbehaving when is this happening only once? It's only running on first load. Uh, and not every time you select a different sub ID. This was once 60. Kind of makes sense. Is this 50 lines? Yeah, this data is so similar. You're wasting, spending too much time on this. Let's move on. It does look legit. Let's uh, check uh, train CSV file for a sec. Six oh eight. I don't want this to happen. Yeah, we don't really need the decimal points. Uh, so the digits after the decimal point. This will be again in JavaScript. On the X axis uh, labels, can we remove? The so many digits after the decimal point. We can just have them as uh, zero digits after the decimal point. So we have const labels. Is it just one line? Uh, rounding it. Right, this is bad. Uh, oh, wrong. It's going to be 50, not uh, 100. Not right. 
there a chance that the X uh, axis labels are changing, but the data remains the same? Can you double check? Weird. No, the data is exactly the same. Yeah, there's something wrong with how the data is being retrieved. So the X axis is being updated correctly depending on the sub ID and the offset in seconds value, but the data is not being retrieved correctly. Can we double check? No. Okay, so we need a spectrogram as well. Understand how this data set works. I'm kind of making an assumption that the EG ID is the main thing by which we sort and review the data. It's kind of unique. Well, I mean, it's that number and uh, this number and then for it you will have a corresponding spectrogram id so there's different uh, parquet parquet files one that holds the uh, eg and the other one has uh, f train egs then we have the same one it's the folder name uh, train spectrograms uh, train spectrograms and one of the files is called this and that doesn't work no such file um, again I have a typo or something doesn't look like ah no, I must have had a typo so it's 10 rows uh, that's what I'm loading load 20 it doesn't matter okay now we what does matter is we have 400 columns would that be the frequency okay the spectrogram is assembled the uh, eg data using meta blah blah transit to select specific uh, annotated subset the column names indicate the frequency column names indicate the frequency in hertz and the recording regions of the eg electrode i have a feeling we We'll have a trouble loading it also to load a certain section of it. Pop it into the structure. This is the EG parquet, for example. As in uh, raw EG. This is the EG spectrogram. That's exactly right. It's good that Copilot understands the context from somewhere. Sometimes it's playing silly, but it's not that silly, is it? Not silly at all. Hey, can you explain this? And also, hey, I would like to load this uh, data on the front page. So we need to modify JavaScript, HTML, and Python. The final output should be a better version of the following image. Yes, we can EG that will be the raw EG time series and uh, get spectrogram that will be the spectrogram i need to get the corresponding file it's obviously not a complete code is it yeah the treat park here how do you pronounce this thing really don't need those as a standalone functions do they don't do much it should just one line of code but if i'll change it now i'll stuff something else up we already have that in the html we are using chart.js uh, Should we have a separate JavaScript file for this? Yeah, we need the spectrogram ID we need to show it on the front page? No Don't have spectrogram Let's call it spectrogram chart It's called spectrogram canvas Okay Still won't work, would it? We're missing a bunch of other things I like this data utils thing. How many times are we using it? Uh, uh, nine times. It's not really required, is it? You can get rid of it. Get rid of it. Should be able to just do. And for PD, we need pandas. Get rid of that data utilities, utilities file. I don't know why it's even there to begin with. That's right. Is it? Why is it so much shorter? 
because it doesn't have the data utils. Right, CSV, that's correct. So we commented that in our line. It just works. Don't need the data utils thing. Comment is now. Magic happens. Magic happens. You know, we have two versions. And we don't want to confuse between them. Why you, when you restructure a what's it format, the document doesn't uh, fix all these little annoying things. Yeah, this one will need more work. If you haven't yet checked out the bionicchaos.com, please do so. Let me know what you think. There's a lot of interesting tools. Yeah, hopefully we don't uh, need data details anymore. Yeah, we don't need C. Do we need read C? We don't need a read parquet. No. Read CSV. And no. Fetch electro data. And no, so it can go. Data details. Bye bye. Uh, we need to focus on the spectrogram bit. We just added it recently. And the code is currently not working at all. You know, GPT-4 is just being lazy. So whatever it haven't completed, uh, we will uh, pop as a prompt to GitHub Copilot. Yeah, it's actually called the Spectrogram Canvas. No, I don't have Spectrogram idea. And why don't you know that? So the idea is a Spectrogram Canvas, Spectrogram Display, Okay, can we focus on the spectrogram display? It's uh, not currently working correctly. Yes, it's called spectrogram canvas. Now it's focusing on the little things, but then it's not actually helping. Where's the rest of the code? <laughs> we try right it won't work well. On earth, it's that uh, a click thing. Seven events, seven events change oh no stop doing that the eeg chart keeps expanding when uh, they're clicking somewhere on the screen we don't want that the spectrogram is not visible at all yeah where do we get the spectrogram id should be fetched from the data file see if it uh, gets the context did not get the context. The spectrogram ID. Not sure about the label. Probably not relevant. But all those are in the train CSV file. Let's see if it gets it now. Yes, it's it is a placeholder. Sorry, so this is what we currently have. This is uh, meant to be the spectrum ID meant to correspond to, to the CG. We will need to improve it, make it uh, so we can dynamically select the... Uh, so when we change the drop-down, it will uh, load the corresponding spectrogram. There's also seem, seem to be that something is wrong with the way it's being uh, rendered on this, on this canvas. So we'll try fixing that next time. See you in a bit. Bye.